Hello! If you're watching this video, two things are going on. One, you're learning how to play guitar, and two, you listen to an awesome band called Hash Sound. Alright, um, I decided I'd uh, do a how-to video for the song called The Artist, because um, it's very, very simple, and everyone should know how to play it if they like the band. Um, I'm going to start off with the solo that you hear in the very beginning. Um, keep in mind, this isn't played on electric guitar, or at least the solo isn't. Um, but it still sounds nice, even when you're playing it, and it's very, very simple, and it's part of the song anyway, so well, what kind of video would this be if I didn't teach you how to play the whole song? Um, I'll teach it to you two ways, depending on how you learn things, because there's a whole variety of things. I'll play the whole thing while I'm saying the fret numbers, and then after that, for you people who like to come on here and just look at where they're putting their fingers, and then figure it out that way, I'll bring the fretboard up close and just use one finger to slide up and down. Just uh, the one finger is because I hate it when they do how to, to do videos. I'm like, okay, we're going to do this chord. It's a bit weird. It's like a diminished or something like that. And they go like this. I'm like, see, it's just very, very simple like that. And it sounds great, but who knows what's going on in there. So uh, I'll just use one finger. Anyway, um, it starts on a four, slides up to six almost immediately. You Then it goes up to nine. Back down to six back down to four, then to two. So fast, it should sound like this. Four, four, six, nine, six, four, two. Then there's a second part to this little riff. Um, it's basically the same thing up until a certain point. So it's the same uh, in the sense where you're still doing four, slide up to six, nine, six, four, Instead of going down to two, you're going to hit four again. So it's... Then you go down to two. Slide back up to six. Slide back down to four. Two. And then four again. End on two. Alright? It's kind of weird, but here. I'll bring the fretboard up close. So here's what I'm talking about. Here's the first part. Here's the second part. Alright, very, very simple. Now we're going to move on to the actual chords of the song. Um, uh, the verse is just a series of very, very, very simple chords. We're not talking diminished, sustained, flats, nothing. Very, very simple. Um, the first chord is an A minor. Oh, before I go any further, it's obvious you need a capo on the first fret. You have to have a capo. Um, so, with a capo on, the form of an A minor, all these are going to be what you would make the shape of. It's not an A minor by putting the capo there, but it's, imagine if the capo wasn't there and this is your first fret. And then make the chord. So, it's an A minor. A C. A G. And then it's an F sharp, but with a catch. That's a regular F sharp, but if you listen to the song carefully, you can hear that there's an extra note, which is actually... But that's easy to fix. You can even do that with, with one person, obviously. All you need to do is take this pinky that's not doing anything and put it down on the fourth fret on your high E. So, very simple. Let's see. And um, there's a bit of a strumming pattern to it, but I'll play it through real quick, and I'll try to make it emphasize on the fact that you have to strum about twice and then hit the E. So listen, it's... I know that you're an artist, but you're the hardest one to deal with. Forgive my singing, I'm a guitarist, not a singer, but it's... I had to do that so you guys can hear where it is. So... As you heard, eventually you strum it a couple times. Very simple. All right, we're going to move on to the chorus. Um, the chorus is just about the same thing in terms of which chords you use. Um, just change the order of them. So the chorus starts off on a C. Go to a G. An A minor. And an E minor. 
So sped up, it sounds like this. So um, the only part left is the what well, I guess you would call the bridge, and it's where Greta is singing the uh, the lines, uh, "Can you live without the light?" And I've had enough of you tonight, um, with some woes thrown in there. So that one's just as simple. It's just an A minor. While she's doing the whoa whoa, it's just an A minor. And then as soon as she says an actual word uh, like uh, "can" and "Can you live without the light?" You switch to an F, and almost every word you're switching a chord, so I'll show you. Um, once again, forgive the singing. Whoa, 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 can you live without the light? And as soon as she says light, you switch back to an A minor, just so you can continue, because you've got another line of lyrics to go through. So, the second one has a bit of a change just in one chord. So it's still A minor, F, C, G, but instead of going back to an A minor, you're going to go to a C because now you're going to the final chorus. So that second part is going to sound like... Whoa, whoa, love, I've had enough of you tonight. And then you just go into the chorus. And I think you just play that until the very end. So, looks like that's it. It's a very, very simple song. Um, just learn the chords, which I'll put up in the text. You guys have probably already seen if you don't want to watch the whole video. Um, and play along with it. Just a couple times through and you'll probably have everything. It's very, very simple. And it sounds nice. So if you have a guitar and a capo, very fun. Alright, thanks for watching.